बिस्मिल्लाकुम एवरी वन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू द सेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन दैट दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द कैलकुलेशन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन हेथ अवे दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ द इन्वेस्टमेंट अप्रेजल एंड मार्च ट्वेंटी एग्जामिनेशन द ए एफ एम द रिक्वायरमेंट ए वन दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड A1, evaluate the financial acceptability of the project guy investment proposal based on chief engineer's forecast. That you have already done, assuming regulatory approval is granted in one year time. So the calculation part you have already done. The calculate the expected NPV of the proposal based on the finance director assumptions about the likelihood of recession. Means here the game about expected value. Incorporate uh, the likelihood of the recession aspects, the probability mentioned in the question, and the impacts on projects, cash, cash flows. Then calculate the NPV of the finance director's proposal, the alternative options of the technology. In advice, the board whether this is worth pursuing. And the very important thing, the fourth one, the fourth one, and this is what. this particular video agenda recommend whether the board should proceed with the application of regulatory proposal after taking into consideration hat away 70% approval rate with its regulatory application or sell the concept now to gp although with the calculation part we have already covered this point as well uh the board aspects the overall consideration either to approve uh either to sell the concept or wait for the approval and continue with all the aspects that we have covered a 1 2 3 but the very important thing for this six marks examiner mention four marks for this commenting include in your analysis any comments on your findings the comments on your findings so for this video the particular agenda is that that how to handle the theoretical aspect of the npv or the apv questions specifically for the comment side specifically for the comment side as well also consider how to cover the professional skill marks how to cover the professional skill marks you people know very well that now based on my um, orientation video and all the things that your total afm exams that 100 marks is split into two components that 80 marks related to technical side and 20 marks related to psm professional skill marks so whatever the requirement a that's calculation that's theory that we will cover with the comment all includes the professional skill marks and moreover you people very much aware there are four aspects that need to cover for professional skill marks but three needs to consider for section b questions for section b examiner expecting the analysis and evaluation number 2 skepticism number 3 commercial acumen that's business sense that's three things so although i have covered in detail with my professional skill marks discussion how to incorporate the professional skill marks within the question but we will cover or we will apply these professional skill marks aspects with this question particularly with part a 
in do remember the professional skill marks it's not only about the theoretical aspects but also about the calculations but also about the calculations but also about the calculations but first of all we need to quickly overview what includes the professional skill marks that need to indulge within this question for part A. With part A. Professional skill marks for section B type questions, that's 25 marks, 25 marks, include three parts. Include three parts. So, if examiner, if examiner examine the same question of Hathaway with the professional skill marks, so how this would look like? Although you attempted with this part of the question, that's A, B, 25 marks, but what if the Hathaway would examine in case with the professional skill marks so what will be the shape of the requirement the 25 marks question 25 marks question includes the five marks that's p that's psm and the sorry and the remaining remaining 20 marks related to technical marks either calculation or theory for example a1 same a2 same a3 same a4 same that's all technical that's all technical and in fact the b part that's not the scope or agenda of, of this session that's about the next video a and b both are technical that i must say Six calculation, two calculation, three calculation, six to eight, three eleven, five mixture of the calculation and theory. That's called sixteen marks a part and four marks exclusively theory. That's something about post completion audits. We will discuss later on the technical marks. Once again, the technical theoretical marks. So here the term technical means calculation and theory both. <coughs> but <coughs> I'm sorry. But with all these technical marks, with all these technical marks, you need to demonstrate your ability that how you indulge the professional skill marks with this technical marks. How? You indulge your professional skill marks with this technical marks and this technical marks. And what are the technical, uh, sorry, what are the possible professional skill marks with section B type questions? Number one, professional marks will be awarded for the demonstration of skills in analysis and evaluation, skepticism, and commercial acumen in your answer. So that is what about the shape that would reflect with the examination hall about the 25 marks question with professional skill marks with the new format introduced since September 22. Can you all please apply? Are you with me who are taking the live session? And even you people are not taking the live session, you can coordinate me on the WhatsApp. So now make a quick overview. Now make a quick overview. What insights the professional skill marks? The professional skill marks, number one, analysis and evaluation. Assuming that you have done the calculation. Assuming. So first thing is that examiner expecting that whatever the data mentioned within the question whatever the data 
mentioned within the question. So you have used that data either for calculation, either for theory. Use of data to determine suitable calculations. So for example, if this is the question, if this is the question you have done, If this is the question that you have done, all the facts that's mentioned with the question, all the facts, all the facts, all the data available. If you incorporated, if you incorporate, if you incorporate properly the data within your question, for example, this is a CB format, although it's, a Excel, it's an Excel format, it's a CB format. So you have calculated, means you have incorporated in a right way the calculation that you have put right you have put right data within the excel sheet or the spreadsheet and you have performed rightly the requirement whatever examiner asked so that is that means that means use of data to determine suitable calculation so analysis evaluation first mean that you have incorporated in a right manner whatever the data available in the question number one number two use of data to support discussion and draw appropriate conclusion so whatever the calculation you have done whatever the calculation you have done now it's time to write the answer so the question the calculation you have done and the information mentioned within the questions use that information and draw the conclusion appropriately draw the conclusion appropriately so this is also the part of analysis and evaluation number three reasoned judgment means whenever you are commenting something you whenever you are commenting something so your conclusion your judgments must include all the facts of the question and if you wanted to incorporate more things that's good within the question so justified reasoned then identify the relevant facts from the case and link with the case. For example, for example, if something about the B part, something about the B part of the question and B part here related to the concept of capital investment monitoring system and post completion audits so this b part is the concept mentioned in the slippers or the study text but here examiner asking you to explain this concepts but also link with the case because this paragraph this paragraph it's actually about to connect with the b part about project monitoring system and post completion audits. So analysis and evaluation includes this fact, identify the relevant factors within the question and connect with the case. It's not only applicable with the B part, also with the A part. Whenever we will make the comment, even we make, we will make the comment of part A, we will consider the facts of the question and connect with the case. And finally, there are two wordings are huh? analysis and evaluation. Do remember, evaluation means the final recommendation. Final recommendation. But the recommendation must be justice must be justified with the facts and figures. This is called analysis. 
So analysis and evaluation start with analysis and analysis start with calculation. Then use the calculation for making the discussion that's analysis. Incorporate some reason judgment and incorporating facts of the question and make a final conclusion. That final conclusion means evaluation. That is what examiner expecting from your side. So analysis and evaluation, it's a combination of calculation and theory. But one very important thing I must have to say here, analysis not only means Analysis not only means incorporating the data or incorporating, pick the data from the question and incorporate with the NPV. This is not the only thing, but also use the spreadsheet function. A spreadsheet function. For example, if you are using the sum if you are using the sum here for example if you are using the sum is equal to sum function that's use the excel function here sorry is equal to sum so you use the excel function here So using the Excel function, that's very much important. Then using the shortcuts. What are the shortcuts? I suggest to the students, even with this Excel sheet, that don't use the discount rate factors, the present value, instead directly the NPV. For example, if you calculate the net cash flow, then taking the discount rate, then the present value, then calculate the NPV. No, don't do this. Instead, you just work out with this manner is equal to is equal to NPV discount rate 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.12 comma select all these bracket close plus this that is 7870 a difference a little bit difference don't worry about that because of the decimal matter so don't do this don't do this just directly calculate the npv with this function so using the spreadsheet functions properly Number one, all the spreadsheet functions. Number one. Number two, your working structure. That's left side is the complete table. It's a table. Right side, the workings. Working is properly labeled. Working one, working two, properly labeled. <coughs> all these are parts of analysis. All these are part of analysis. So use of data to determine suitable calculation. That means the right calculation, number one. But using the spreadsheet function, using uh, or your spreadsheet function proper formatted with a proper label, also having the professional skill marks. Do remember that with my lectures, whatever the function I am using with the Excel that's available with the CV format. I do use only CV function, uh, sorry, I do use Excel functions only that's applicable with the CV format. And majority of the time, if the question available with the CV format, I don't prefer or even I don't work with the Excel sheet. This Hathaway, it's not available with the CV format. That's, that's why I use 
the Excel, but you can use the blank sheet as well of the CV format. Yes, the NPV function, the IRR functions are available and more functions are available. The BSOP as well, BSOP functions available with the shortcut within the spreadsheet functions. Even BSOP, the examiner will give you the separate spreadsheet. The YouTube, my YouTube uh, video is available for the BSOP, for the BSOP. That's how to use the BSOP functions since the start, since the uh, examiner um, or examining team has actually uh, made very easiness to the students since uh, September 22 exams. So come on with the professional skill marks. That is the point. Number one. Number two, sir, this is one of the marks that's called analysis evaluation. What about the others? What about the others? skepticism examiner expecting you that whenever you are drafting your answer so your answer must include some challenge or critical assessment that's for example for example for complete analysis for complete analysis you use in this question the expected values but the expected values method having limitation so your final comments must have to include the critic the challenge of the methods use here use here so whatever the techniques you are using in a simple words the NPV is a method. The APV is a method. If you use NPV method, APV method, risk and uncertainty method like expected value method, you can critic here. So your drafting must include the skepticism aspects. That's critic or challenge the techniques used here. Your Drafting must also include to critic or challenge the information available within the question. For example, in this question, for example, in this question, the information is available here about the tax rates. The tax rates. The tax rate 20%. And we are assuming here the tax rate over the five years will remain same, will not change. So question information about tax rate, but this may change. So you can critic that information. So one thing is technique, NPV is a technique, but tax rate is the information. So critic, we can critic the Technique, we can critic the information as well. The inflation rates, the assumption we use, the discount rate here we use, the probability factors we use. So these are the available information. So second point of the skepticism, it's very easy. It's challenge or critic the information or assumptions. That is, that's the meaning of skepticism. Do remember, actually the AFM exam is about decision making and before decision making, critical evaluation is actually will support the decision making with the more informed matter, with, will, with more informed manner. Critic doesn't mean that we will deviate somewhere else. Critic means we will challenge the techniques is assumptions within the question. So we will be able to make a very informed decision. Okay, sir, skepticism includes only two things. No, skepticism includes one more thing. In fact, two more things. Sorry, two more things. Within the question, within the question, you can suggest that some of the points are missing here. 
for example you can suggest that this information sorry this decision become more valuable if we consider the sensitivity analysis if we incorporate the sensitivity analysis aspects as well if we apply the risk and uncertainty model of sensitivity analysis so that will create that will be we will be able to make more better decision so that is called identify missing or some additional information and finally finally if there are some facts available with the question some suggestion or some comments by the directors not necessarily within the question we will discuss in the future questions some of the assumptions some of the opinion made by the or mentioned by the uh, examiner within the question you can challenge that particular particular opinion you can challenge that opinion that this may not happen in this manner this is what about skepticism so analysis evaluation five points skepticism four points since so skepticism it's all about theoretical aspects yes it's all about theoretical aspects more about commercial acumen commercial acumen simple means whatever we are doing be realistic having business sense having some business sense so what we need to consider here one point be practical anything inside or outside inside the company or outside the company inside the question or some other other factors that must be practical means if some of the suggestions we are covering within the question we have to evaluate is this practical number one we have to identify if we are going to implement this project we need to consider is there any possibility of constraints limitations for example if we are going to invest this project not in the question but in the future question there are the difficulties for the arrangement of finance maybe internal shareholder reluctance not to issue the new shares maybe external market is market or banks are reluctant to pay finance to us 